After seven years, Prometheus finally got another major update, Prometheus 3. I'm not talking about the Alien movies, I'm talking about the monitoring software, so here's everything that's changed. Let's start out with one of the most major upgrades, and that is to the UI. It's a complete rewrite under the hood with less clutter and a more modern look and feel. So this here is the target page for Prometheus 3.0. As you can see, the information is just displayed in a nice way, and we can collapse all of these, and it just looks really nice and professional. Big difference though in 2.0, as you can see, this looks way more outdated, and you can tell that this is actually using Bootstrap as well. If we go back to 3.0, this has been rewritten with Mantine UI, and that's supposed to make maintenance going forward a whole lot easier as well. But it's not just a style change either, we got a couple new features too. First one is we actually get PromQL highlighting outside of just the query page now. So here I am on the alerts page in Prometheus 3, and you can see that this query here is being highlighted. If you compare that to 2.0, previously it just showed you the YAML like this, and that was a little bit messier, and apparently had some problems with it as well. The next big UI feature has been adopted from PromLens. You can now see your PromQL query as a tree of its sub-expressions. You can see here in Prometheus 3, I've run a query and I get this nice tree view out like this and you can hover over and see the information like results. But this gets really powerful when it enables this explain tab down here. If we click on any of these nodes, we get a really nice explanation or even behavioral insights for them. So if I click on rate, for example, you can see we actually get the documentation for the rate function itself. So this is gonna be really useful for actually writing our query but it gets even more powerful than that when you have things like vector matching. If it goes wrong, it will be able to provide explanations and visualizations of exactly what the error is. There's also a major upgrade to the Explore Metrics menu. If we click into here, you can see you get a lot more information now. You get the type and the help alongside the metric, but not only that, you can now go in and explore the metric itself, and you can see the information at a glance here, like the label and the values. This is a massive upgrade when we compare it to 2.0, which when you clicked here, all you could see was just the list of metrics themselves and no information. Those are the awesome visual features covered, so let's talk about performance. These graphs from the Prometheus team show you that performance has been getting better and better with each upgrade, and now the memory and CPU usage are at their lowest ever. That's really good to see. You know what else is good? That's the backend changes. Remote Write 2 adds native support for a host of new elements, including metadata, exemplars, created timestamp, and native histograms. They've even enhanced the payload size and CPU usage for compressing and decompressing. Next, the OpenTelemetry protocol support has gotten much better as well. Prometheus can now be a native receiver for your OpenTelemetry protocol metrics, and that comes with a new endpoint that you just point your metrics at. Prometheus now also allows all valid UTF-8 characters to be used in metric and label names by default, as well as all of their label values. This support means there's no more adjustments to metric names like changing dots to underscores in the OpenTelemetry ones, so there should be less confusion between the OpenTelemetry semantic conventions and what you actually query in Prometheus. Finally, there's an experimental feature, not on by default, but it shows their work on native histograms. Native histograms are a Prometheus metric type that offer a higher efficiency and lower cost alternative to classic histograms. They're still working on this though, so it's exciting to see what's coming. There you go, that is the headline features coming to Prometheus 3. Go upgrade and try it out for yourselves. I'll leave the announcement blog post below. There you can find the migration guide and any breaking changes as well. Are you excited for any of these features? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're there, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.